But when you have a majority of the community wanting to play, understand it, let's give these people some waivers and let's play football. The same in baseball, same with soccer, same with everything else. We, we, have to, we do have to find something for these boys and these girls to get out and to do. This should be a parental decision, and I think we've got what the parents want, which is football. We've got the percentages. Um, I just, if everybody else is playing, if, if high school is playing and all this, I, I just I don't understand why they we can't award them the same opportunities as baseball and football. That makes zero sense. It makes this board look horrible and this recreation department look unorganized. Let's just keep it, let's keep it calm. All right, I'm going to call this meeting to order of the Harris County Rec Board at 7.04 on Wednesday, July 29th. Football, the football season for Harris County Youth Tackle 2020 is canceled. No football period. The appeal that Bill is up here for is the appeal to that cancellation that was made by the Rec Director. Every study that's shown this does not affect children in the community, in the state, anything they've had. The youngest person is 17 years old and they had health issues. We just need to inform the parents for all sports. If that child or a parent at home, somebody living in that home, has health issues, they need to understand the chances to talk about play. But football is a full-on, in-your-face contact sport. If one kid has something on a team, I guarantee you, it spreads through the team. I saw it last year, I saw it the year before, it happens. And right now, honestly, from what I keep seeing on all the web, different websites for sports, for medicine, CDC, they've got some answers, but not all the answers. It's safer for us to wait and see if we can do something alternative, such as spring football, or less contact with a flag program, anything. Uh, makes a little more sense. If you have baseball going on, people are gonna be around people. Fans are gonna be in the bleachers. They're gonna be sitting close to each other. How much of that can a board, league officials, anything else actually really truly enforce? Mountain Hill actually did do a conditioning day Monday um, before everything was closed. It went great. We sat there for an hour with the kids. We took time to take temperatures, sign waivers, wash hands, get water. In alternating breaks, so the kids were crowded around the water cooler with their own water bottles that they brought from home so they didn't share. They had time to be sanitary. They had distance. And for a board to say, your season has been canceled without considering what else can be done, definitely needs to be looked at, looked at again, reconsidered. It is not as bad as the seasonal flu. It has not spread as that has not had any, as many deaths as a seasonal flu. So if your kid has bypassed that, probably bypass this. What are you gonna do? Can we do fundamentals? Can we practice? Because as you know, football practice might be the only structure one of these kids gets his whole day. Might be the only physical activity this kid gets in his whole day is coming to football practice and doing something there. Now, I'm not going to go down a COVID-19 rabbit hole because I'm not a medical professional, but I will say I do know that being physically fit is the first key to any sickness is how you're going to recover from it is how you go into it. All right. So we're probably setting some kids up for failure if we just say no. And we don't look deep and say, how can we help them, you know, maintain physical fitness, maintain awareness, maintain social life because they've been sitting on the couch since March. And I saw it at practice the other day. There's some sad looking kids out there who haven't left the couch since March.